you never saw coming. Hello, people. Welcome to W G A G first ever domination sports episode. Now, this sport is going to be very different. It's a hot dog game contest on the 4th of July. By the way, I am not part of this eating contest. For some people, you may think this is stupid for me to watch because I'm fat. No, it's not that. I just because it's just because I like it. But do you know what? 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 Continue? What? 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 The first take one, then the Nathan's. What should be coming up next? We're mascots. Try Firestone tires for 30 days. If you don't love them, we'll refund or replace. So go ahead. Check them. The Firestone 30 day buy and try guarantee. Head in through July 9th and get $60 by mail on a Firestone Visa prepaid card when you mm. buy a set of four eligible tires. Firestone. Use your new or existing CFNA credit card and get up to $100. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. Okay, see, he that's why he don't smoke. Smoked 12,000 packs of cigarettes over 15 years. She quit, and now there's a new lung cancer screening that could save her life. You stop smoking, now start screening. No matter yeah, that should be a warning. Early detection could save you. Talk to your doctor or learn more. Yeah, I tried, well, not smoking, but smokeless tobacco. It's horrible as shit. Just saying. Poor, but I got the mint flavor and I don't like mint. That's so horrible. Horrible, horrible shit. A ball handler? Really? 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 Is so upset right now. Oh, 
72 hot dogs, a new record, and my 10th victory. Oh. It's been more than a decade of undisputed hot dog dominance. But the hungry are prime, so remember these names. Matt Stone. Yeah! Yeah! Days end one could add his name to this great American tradition that is the Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest. Happy 4th of July, ESPN and Major League Eating welcome you to the 2018 Nathan's Famous 4th of Come July on, International Hot Dog left. Eating Contest. Please. Please. Impossible not to feel some goosebumps here at Coney Island as we prepare for the 102nd iteration of this championship. Las Vegas' okay. own Mickey Sudo, the four-time reigning women's champion, looking to set a new world record on the women's side. Matt Stoney, the 2015... Yeah! The only Come on, Matt! Come on, Matt Stoney! Come on! Carmen Sincati, Come on, Carmen, as well! Come on, I like you, too! years ago today, last year's runner-up, all of them trying to dethrone the ten-time... Champion, the Nathan's Joey Chestnut. Boo. You suck. You suck. You suck. With We're tired of you. I'm privileged and pleased to welcome you to Nathan's famous Adam Amin, Rich Shea, Melanie Collins will join us. And Bailey will well. For those of you who are unfamiliar, welcome. For your first time, for those of you who do know the name Joey Chestnut, yeah, I know. Been watching this since 2014. The uh, and there's a reason there's tens, tens, tens of thousands of people out here, Adam, because but they I want remember. to miss that mastery. They want to miss the one the one year, but I got to watch it on YouTube. Kind of on our hard to argue, but he's only got five. LeBron's got four. Speed has three. Career at Nathan. Federer's got 20, but it's my <laughs> God. <laughs> he's, he's, he's gunning for another one out in Wimbledon today. Joey Chestnut from San Jose, California. He had to learn how to eat fast growing up with five siblings. He started competitively eating while he was a student at San Jose State in 2005. He finished third that year. Look at the jump that he's made. He has set the record the last two years. Some ups and downs, but no, no bad years. I, it kinda, that graphic kind of reminds me of my Netflix stock. You know, it's like, okay, and it's like, awesome, and then it's, eh, okay, and then it's awesome, awesome, awesome. Dow Jones-esque, I would say. So, Joey Chestnut, is with our Melody Collins. Thank you, Adam. Joe, you're going for your 11th mustard belt today. What's it going to take to get your third straight? I'm going to just, I'm happy. I'm going to buy my rhythm. Uh, it's only 10 minutes to work. I can't be lazy. And I'm going to have fun. We have Matt Stoney up there who beat you in 2015. And of course, Carmen Simcotti, who came in second place last year. Who do you see being your biggest competition today? You know, uh, Bye. for great years, Carmen Simcotti, he's been telling people he can eat 70. I'm a. Uh, I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm looking forward to some competition. Uh, yeah, you better. Yeah, I can't be lazy. I, 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 come, I can't on, come on, come on, lose. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. For, sorry for people that are dirty dogs, says my fans, but I just don't like him because he's won so many. That's why. All it means is the hot dogs aren't going to get cold, and I'm going to be loose. I'm going to... No excuses, just gonna go out there and eat and go for a new record, maybe 75. Good luck, Joey. Adam, back to you. Melody, thank you so much. You guys talked about Matt Stoney, certainly major competition. Yeah! Joey Chestnut from San Jose, California, won this event in 2015. 13 world records set by this young man at age 25. And as his stock has risen, so is his popularity on his YouTube channel. Yeah. He takes on challenges yes. and challenge. From yes. family alike, yes. Pasta to come yes. Maybe my yes. Album, yes. 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 Meanwhile, Carmen Sincati, the other major competition for what Joey Chestnut is trying to do I today. I got like Matt Stoney Carmen because beat Joey Chestnut he has a Joey YouTube a channel and he is awesome. He's the 
kind of the best agent I've ever seen. The Carmen Sincotti. One of only four eaters to ever hit 60 hot dogs at this competition. Yeah, and I think we're going to mm. see more than that this year. They're not know that. For the first time, Joey's going to have challengers. More than just one challenger. You've got the Tour de France on foot. I think of a Peloton. It's a meat Peloton. There's four or five guys. Come on. The 60, I believe. In less than 24 hours, I haven't had a new belt, and I need an or I need a new belt. We're going to have a contest. Joey Jaws. So this might be the deepest field we've had in the Nathan's in a long time. Definitely. Chasing Max 50. Suzuki coming from Japan. You've got Jeffrey Esper, who I've always liked, and he's really determined. Prolific eater this year. He's everywhere you turn around. And then Darren Breeden, second-year rookie, a 46 and a half. I'll think he'd be well north of 50. We could have six. Wow, a 10 minute a record for the debut qualifier. We spent some time with South Jersey's own Carmen Sincati from 112 miles away. The 10 time champion Joey Chestnut at the peak of the sport gives us some insight on what Boo. makes this one special. And with such a rich uh -huh. history of great Japanese eaters, can Max Suzuki take the reins for the land of the rising sun? Land of the rising sun. Nathan's Famous brings you this 2018 Nathan. Who else? Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Yeah, that Geico said so. On this day, we set aside our table manners and cast away our cutlery. On this day, we loosen our belts for the sake of comfort and carefree fun. And today, on this day, we don't play catch up, we apply it. Because on this hmm. day, whether we eat one or one too many, we choose a champion. Nathan's yeah. famous premium hot dogs, famous for over 100 years. And try our new all natural beef franks. Now, we all own. natural beef franks. This is CIA's mission. You use a scaffold. I prefer a habit. If you can't take the heat, don't like the fuse. No arguments. So, Soon we're going to be the best. Either me as an eating contest. I'm going to make my own soon, but I had a dream about an eating contest one time. My real dad and my stepdad were in and they were competing against possibly the free you. Just saw the Matt Stoney, the St. Carmen Sincardi. Yeah, I'm doing a video. I'm doing a video. I'm watching Nathan's hot dog game contest. Oh, okay. Uh, you, you know, you could be, uh, or you could watch it. It's on ESPN2. But I'm pretty sure you don't want to watch an eating contest, do you? Oh, okay. Sorry, that was my, I would you say, step-grandfather. I guess you could say. And that's weird how God could comes up with these damn commercials. Sorry if it's free way. But I just want to see how it would look like with this week and this week and this week. Give you multi sides. Hopefully this is an actual video. 19 minutes has gone by. Two floors up the Empire State Building in Manhattan earlier this week. All the competitors got a chance to check 72. in, take a look at the record for Nathan's hot dogs consumed so by Joey Chestnut. That would last the record holder no. got to meet the newcomer from Japan, Max Suzuki, yesterday. Mickey Sudo, the four-time Nathan's women's champion, uh, yes, weighing in, no. as did Carmen Sincati, last year's runner-up on the men's side. And some friendly smack talk between Joey Chestnut and Carmen Sincati. A little bit of slap happy. Looks like Richard and I before we get set for a broadcast. <laughs> 
And on the top floor of I the Empire State lie. Building, there it is, the stair down between those two outstanding competitors. Well, earlier today, Mickey Sudo got set to go for well, consecutive totally eight belts wrong. after Sonia Thomas won the first three. They're the only two champions since this women's championship began eight years ago. I've been chasing the women's record of 45 and 10 minutes um, since I started competing at Nathan's. Yeah, I would have been there probably going to win. Into competitive eating, and uh, that elusive 45, man. Hoping to beat it. A fifth win would be incredible. You know, each year more pressure mounts, but it's uh, it's just one more notch in my belt. So I have a lot to look forward to, a lot to live up to. My lucky sneakers are making a comeback um, from my first victory in 2014. They're my favorite Converse All Stars and Bars high top. That was the year Mickey took the title from Sonia Thomas, who won the first three. She's still got the world record at 45. She never looked back. Sonia Thomas is a great champion, but Mickey grabbed that title, and she liked what she had in her hand. The belt is a kind of it's like flying private. You don't want to go back to commercial, you know what I mean? <laughs> Michelle Lesko, who's been training with Mickey Sudo, they're very good friends over the last three weeks. They were side-by-side side in Tucson and Las Vegas, training for this Nathan's contest. Mickey Sudo, confident as ever, with very good reason. A nice addition today. The, uh, they're friends, like Wozniacki and Serena, but the dominance obviously is with that was Serena. And that that was. The dominance is with Mickey. Uh, you know, looking for a five feet. Uh, I didn't even five get to watch that really cool. because the yeah, internet the was down. Point of the competition, and it was a four-horse race really at that yeah. time. Julia Lee played very well. Sonia Thomas hung tight. Michelle Lesko came out a little slow. Just had a couple of struggles during the during the ten minutes. <laughs> but, you know, uh, actually, this made me hungry, but also <laughs> the top four female eaters. That made me sick. It does. Thomas and Lee. Thomas. That made me hungry. Who have performed if very impressively in the course of their careers, but it was all Mickey Sudo. It ended up being the second lowest Sometimes. total of her five championships, yeah. but she was still nine ahead of the rest of the field. So comfortable and so at home, even with four, five. <laughs> I didn't wait for to her to Sudo win, win but time oh, Michelle Lasko. Her father, she was close. I knew she daughter. would get close. Got a chance to see her win her fifth title. After the championship, our Melanie Collins met up with Mickey Sudo. Thank you, Adam. Mickey, congratulations on your fifth straight belt. It looked to be a four-person race to start, but you really pulled away in the fifth and sixth minute. Not your personal best. How'd you get it done today? No, it's not. I think you saw me look around to my competitors to see where they were at. I had a comfortable lead, so, uh, you know, I just left uh, more improvement for next year. You looked very relaxed today. You told us this week you got back into fighting shape these past few weeks. How satisfying is it to see that hard work pay off? Oh, my God. If you could see pictures of me from just three weeks ago, it's like night and day. I started eating clean again, working out every day. I feel good. I've gotten a lot of energy, and I think it definitely carried me through to victory today. Fifth straight win with your dad, Shoichi, in the crowd. Thank you, Mickey. Congratulations. Hi, Dad. <laughs> so now, only three ever with five or more championships. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's, it's just incredible to think that Mickey Sudo could uh, catch up with Kobayashi, who dominated for so long out here. But Joey, with the 10 going for 11, untouchable. We're closing in on the men's competition. Carmen Sincati. A self-proclaimed computer nerd and a local hero of sorts, trying to take down Joey Chestnut. Grew up 112 miles away in South Jersey, now works for the New York Times behind the scenes. But a win today might take him to the front page of the paper. Melanie Collins has more. Sunday at the Jersey Shore, a stage slightly smaller than Coney Island. Go! The one Carmen Sincati equally enjoyed. He's a main landing kid with the Oprah Sky. He's a web developer, but he work with ducks and stuff. And believe it or not, he was born on the 4th of July. We're at my high school, where I got started in my athletic endeavors. Didn't think I would become a competitive eater. But the signs were there early on. My brother was always uh, the first one at the table and the last one at the table. Love food. <laughs> 64! <laughs> this was when he was two or maybe three. First one at the table waiting for his birthday cake. I remember Carmen when we took him out 
D, Carmen would eat real fast. Our dad would always take us out to for practice. This Buck Bay. And you know, I'd just always eat a lot and it always just be a competition between my brother. Being my little brother, he's always trying to uh, beat me. But he was a strong competitor, he always has been. It's the, the nature of being competitive, wanting to win, wanting to be better than my brother at soccer. Oh. I never do it, but I feed him in eating. Eat and compete. No two words better describe the arc of Carmen and Cotty's young life. And Come on, Carmen. Uh, or oh, Matt Stein. Uh, Carmen said, Cody, or Matt Stein. I was a little upset by it because I had just shelled out college tuition, and he tells me he wants to go and eat hot dogs. You know, I tried to qualify in 2015, ate 13 hot dogs, and wasn't even close. But he's very determined. That's the best yes, I can say. Yes. He's determined. Doesn't like to be second best. Nope. You know, I've worked my butt off year after that, be able to go to uh, Coney Island in 2016 and just be there, to be up there with, you know, the greats of competitive eating. Point six I mean, it's, it's still one of those memories that, like, is still fresh in my head. With 42 hot dogs and buns, the mutiny, Carmen Sincotti. A newcomer just out of nowhere. I'm amazed as to how quickly he rose yeah. Yeah. from being totally unknown to finishing third. And then going back last year and finishing second. You know, I'm excited. I'm excited. Do it, Carmen. I don't care what, what you way. have to do. Look out, do it. Because here comes Carmen Sincati. I'm right there. So I definitely have a lot more. Dude, you're time. my hero. You're yeah, well, my food contest hero. Joey's reign is coming to an end. Right, Carmen? Oh, yeah, definitely. He's going to be kicked. Joey Chestnut's butt. But for He's all the time, after you, the Joey. one person perhaps he continues to amaze is himself. It's surreal. It's unbelievable. It really is. You know, a couple of years ago, I was eating 13 hot dogs. You know what I mean? Now, build against Joey Chestnut to compete against him, and it's just like, who would have thought? What are you going to melt? Are you going to, uh, like, a, a suit? A pair of shoes? What are you going to They're, they're going to hand me that mustard belt, and I might faint. No, don't get too cocky, but still Our win. Mom told us this week that ever since he was 10 years old, he would pester her to bring him out to Coney Island for the Nathan's Hot Diggity Contest on the 4th of July. Well, here he is on his 25th birthday competing in the contest with Mom and the crowd, guys. Thanks so much, Melanie. Great stuff. Well, for the past decade, Nathan's Famous has proudly donated 100,000 hot dogs each year to the Let's Food Bank go, of New York City. Over a million dogs donated Let's by go, Nathan Nathan. over the course of the last 10 Let's years. Go, Nathan. We're getting set for the Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Eating Championship for Coney Island. Coming up. I'm here to somewhat entertain you. You agree to never them. give up. To be a decent man. Get sit. To remember the good people who rise with every challenge. To remember their strength when you feel tired. To serve with grit and grace. You made a promise. We did too. The all new Ram 1500. Check them out now. Bosley will show you for 
Let me know in the comments. How you're liking this multi view setting or Bosley or this hot dog game contest and like my views of the contest. Like who I want to win or who I want to lose. Think about in the or say in the comments below. I don't I don't care. I'll get to you. Come on, let's get this contest started. Join us at 1 p.m. for the ACL Pro Invitational Tray. We have some of the best players in the country here, including Cody Henderson. Cody Henderson, the ACL Player of the Year and also the number one ranked player in the country. He'll come in with the biggest target on his back. Can't wait to see how he performs. We're up next at 1 p.m. Now back to the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. Ryan Trey, thanks so much. We'll talk to you later today. Let's see, We're just that's Cody Allen's new wild coach. We're the home of the match. We've got a doubleheader with an NL East team. That's the a Euro fight. The Phillies fight. take on the Orioles and the White Sox and the Reds on ESPN. We've been upside down. The Bengals three. Cardinals Please. and the Diamondbacks still battling at the top of the NL West. That's tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern. All those games available on ESPN. That's the Euro fighter with a league coach. Getting set to go for the Nathan's contest, Joey Chestnut, the former construction manager turned full-time competitive eater to legendary champion, looking to continue his unprecedented run. He takes us inside his world. This is my 14th year coming here. I still get nervous, I still love it. Ten-time uh, champion, but not in a row. I know that competitive eating is a little bit weird. If I'm gonna get up on stage and eat hot dogs, but I'm not gonna do it to get third or fourth. I'm gonna do it to win. Hey. Walking out on stage in front of you, that massive audience is probably my favorite part of the day. Because there are 40,000 yeah. New Yorkers. And it, it's just happiness, pure and pure joy. So it's crazy that uh, people think of me when they think of what's like. People come to Florida, they grew up watching me with their dad. Now they have a kid. Get off the stage. It's, it's quit. 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 Retire. You must retire. You must retire. You must retire. We want Carmen. 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 We want Stiney. We want Stiney. We want Stiney. We want Carmen. We want Carmen. We want Carmen. We want Stiney. We want Stiney. We want Stiney. You can't truly we tell want the story of Joey Chestnut without including we the great want Carmen. To Kobayashi, who hasn't competed we here want since 2009. Kevin Kobayashi did indeed raise we the bar. We want Carmen. And it's guys like Joey and all the guys we're going to see today who now think 50 is the new 20. I'm not joking. It's amazing. So Joey dominates out here for sure. Kobayashi was the last great Japanese eater. In Japan, they're known as food fighters. And Max Suzuki, the top-ranked eater in oh. Japan, set a 10-minute record for a debut at an Athens qualifier in Vegas this year, surpassed only by Kobayashi's 50 in 2001. That was a 12-minute total. Could Max Suzuki be the next great food fighter from Japan to find gluttonous glory in America? Simply put, Max Suzuki is a mystery. A YouTube sensation back home in Japan, where ramen noodles are his competitive preference, Suzuki has brought his warm style and contagious smile to America. Oh. To my American friends, happy Independence Day. Thank you for welcoming me to Honey Island. Really, we know a little more than this. Max qualified by 42 dogs in Las Vegas and draws inspiration from a former champ who is perhaps the world's second 
のプレーができる。あげる小林。あげる小林。あげる小林。Mr. Kobayashi is the guy I respect the most, and the reason why I started uh, this uh, uh, hot dog competitive eating is because of him. So why did he travel all the way to Coney Island to knock off the man, to knock off his hero? Joy Chestnut! He might be a favorite team, the reason why I'm here but is to be he knows. Accomplishing that goal may take a record-setting performance. Yeah, it might take. And it might be the upset of the year. Trying to become the fourth Japanese sport champion here at Davids. Yeah, Harifumi Nakajima, the first. Incredible run by Kobayashi. Can Max Suzuki become the next great Japanese food fighter? The land of the rising sun. The moment we've all been waiting for. George J. graces us with another succulent soliloquy on the fighters coming. It does just lifted his game to a tremendous level with a ferocious form. Is the greatest competitor in the history of the sport of tennis. Has 17 major titles. It's another one. This Spaniard has earned the right to go by just one name. Are you kidding me? Rafa. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better. The championships win the win. Coverage continues tomorrow when Rafael Nadal takes the court live exclusively on ESPN. On this day, we set aside our table manners and cast away our cutlery. On this day, we loosen our belts for the sake of comfort and carefree fun. On this day, we don't play catch up, we apply it. Yeah, because we want catch up on our dogs. Too many. I mean, hot dogs. I mean, Frank's. Famous premium or whatever. Famous for over you, you get the point here. Try our new all natural beef ranks. Now okay, Frank's then. Wieners. Don't let football divide your friendship. Pongámonos la verde. It's football. We are bold. My foot. My foot. Football. I don't know how they say. No, forget it. I don't watch football or football. Salads should look like this. Or soccer. Call it soccer. I'll say. Clean food that looks this good. Deliver to your desk. Now delivering to home or office. Panera, hmm. food as it should be. This is gonna be a long video, guys. Long summer days. So I'll let you know in the comments below when it starts. Of quick solutions. These two sides. Not my now, side, but you can pay attention to me if you want to. And pick up a great deal on a steal. Summer in America I mean, is here. Get to your steel this has got to be the longest video I possibly have ever made. So you might have a long time getting this video. Who knows? Okay, are we ready? It is time. George Shea introduces the gluttonous competitors for the 102nd edition of the Nathan's competition. This rookie from Normal, Illinois. This is his first visit in Coney Island, 6 feet 2 inches tall, 24 years of age. He won the Valdosta Georgia qualifier, ladies and gentlemen. 22 hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes. Matt Hazard. Ranked number 21 in the world. He's a weightlifter who has eaten 25 hot dogs and buns. He won the Kroger contest in Cincinnati, ladies and gentlemen. Six feet five inches tall from Vandalia, Ohio, Derek Jacobs. From Austin, Texas, 20 years of age. The winner of the San Antonio qualifier. Competitive eating is the crucible through which greatness is forged. 
and the evidence comes before us now. Six feet one inches tall, 200 pounds, 34 hot dogs and buns, ranked number seven in the world from New Orleans, Louisiana, 42 dozen Acme oysters, Adrian Morgan! The difficulty in his marriage began after he named his children mild, medium, and hot. But he will not let domestic issues get in the way of the task at hand. Ranked number 17 in the world, 25 hot dogs and buns, Pablo Martinez. Uh. The habanero eating champion of the world, the Native American fry bread, and the spot shrimp eating champion of the world. Six feet four inches tall, 210 pounds, from Seattle, Washington, the winner of the Portland, Oregon contest, Eric the Red Denmark! His good cholesterol is low. His bad cholesterol is high, and his BMI is borderline presidential. But he is the pork rind eating champion of the world. The watermelon eating champion of the world as well. 13.22 pounds of watermelon. Ranked number 20 in the world, Buffalo Jim Reed. in Viejo, California to earn his seat here today. Ranked number 16 in the world, he has eaten 69 silver dollar pancakes, 144 chicken wings. Ladies and gentlemen, from Dixon, California, Steve Hendry! One of two representatives of California right there. A personal trainer from Crestwood, Illinois. Ranked number 12 in the world. He won the Des Moines, Iowa qualifier to get to Coney Island. 28.5 hot dogs and buns. 68 tacos in 10 minutes. 181 gyoza in 10 minutes. Juan Rodriguez! The most sartorial of the famous hot dog in an alarming fashion for his own body. <laughs> if only all of us had that confidence. He made his MLE debut in 2013 on leave from U.S. Army service in Afghanistan. Ranked number 32, winner of the Nashville, Tennessee qualifier with 28.75 hot dogs and buns, Ronnie Hartman, Hotel Alpha Romeo Tango Mike Alpha November Hartman. An IT technician training to become a pro wrestler, Ronnie Hartman, the former Army Ranger. He stands before us like Hercules himself, albeit a large ball Hercules at an eating contest. But nonetheless, he is a modern day monster. Six feet six inches tall, 340 pounds, 30 hot dogs and buns, rookie George Chica! His fourth try, his first time qualifying for Nathan's. A diet coach and father of two. He is the odds-on favorite for MLE Rookie of the Year, ladies and gentlemen. 34 hot dogs and buns at the City Fields qualifier from Torrington, Connecticut, Nick Wary. Saw him at the White Hut. Cheeseburg eating competition at the Biggie, and I knew we saw a future. He stands exalted at six feet nine inches tall, seven feet from hand to hand. The kale eating champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, ranked number six. 36 hot dogs and buns, one and one third gallons of green chili stew to become the green chili stew eating champion of the world. From Zaria, Nigeria, by way of Moro, Georgia, Gideon OJ! The world's tallest pro eater at six foot nine. He was a Laker before LeBron. Oh Played my God! The, State. the truth, they call him. He's been out on the circuit for 20 years. The foremost rapper and eater in the world. But this year I decided I would finally take him on on my own. 
It's time to take a stand, test my salivary glands, test my teeth and my tongue, <laughs> take my life in my hands, gonna eat with bad lands, compete with bad lands, go for broke, go to town, go to down on demand. Stand, take control, take command, make a move, pick a side, take the bird in the hand. When you eat with bad lands, compete with bad lands, stand your ground, double down, draw a line in the sand. Badlands Booker, the green pea and matzo ball and corned beef hash eating champion of the world, the big man, the bad man. Badlands is the grandmaster flash of corned beef. When we are young, we drink our coffee with milk and sugar. And as we age, we drink it with milk only. Then we drink it black, then we drink it decaf, then we die. Our next eatery is at decaf. But he has established a legacy of greatness that will last forever. He is the Sam of the world. Six pounds in six minutes. Ranked number 13 at 74 years of age from Las Vegas. Woo! Rich LaFever! The oldest ever competitor, now 74 the years of age. number one ranked eater in Japan. The hopes and dreams of that nation rest on his shoulders. He ain't 42. Ladies and gentlemen, from Oxford, Massachusetts, the great Jeffrey Espa. A child of the 80s. Rank when things number are dope. four in the world. <laughs> back when things are dope and fresh, not lit and bleak. <laughs> if he succeeds here today, we will credit the Tallahassee to him. An eating method so dangerous and difficult to master that it was abandoned in the 1930s. He's bringing it back. Ladies and gentlemen, Darren Breeden! I think we just went from dope to fleet. Yes, no doubt. How much longer will the we stay? The 2015 Nathan's Famous Fourth of July Yes! Champion. 62 yes! and buns. Yes! Number three in the world. 13 world records. Let's go, Stoney. Pork pie, moon pie, pumpkin pie, pork rib, pork roll, slug burger, chicken speedy, frozen yogurt, birthday cake eating champion of the world. Matthew And he get back to glory in his eighth consecutive Nathan's contest, the 2015 champion. He was born on the 4th of July, but to him this day is a vessel of pain. He holds his watch last year to Joey like broken glass in a fist red with blood. Bitter rage has driven him for 364 days. He has savored the dark joy of hatred, and today he will repay one crime with another. No reparation, no reconciliation, he will attack. And with the thoughtless finality of death, he will take what is his. The yeah. number two ranked eater in the world. 60 hot dogs and buns from May's Landing, New Jersey. Carmen Cincate! Yeah! Contrived but hard not to like. <laughs> when all the world's languages are poured into a single bowl, the world Boo. recognizable to all will be freedom. The force that binds our atoms together, the legacy we leave our Whoa. children. And he will fight at any cost for its cause. Until his spine collapses under the burden. Until his you bones suck. are cracked and splintered and scraped you like shark on you paper. Suck. You suck. Until he lies, coins on his eyes. Even Do though he, he has more work on the main battle probably, run, he will fight. You're part of the this year, my man. Of now and of always. That's my of bad. Of north and of south. Of the air. He of the won fire, ten of times. The sea, of the land, that. Of the free. Of the fourth of July. Of one nation. Under God. Indivisible. He is champion. Why?
One Nation under Down now. 
Yeah. I don't want that chest not to win, but no, I just want to. Yeah, I love the best for the Oh, oh my fucking God. God. Oh. This is a very difficult spot. You're already four oh. The pace is really slowed down for Carmen Sincati after a slow start. Come on, uh, uh, oh, Starney, 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 Determined by stomach capacity. The corner of Surfing Stillwell at Coney Island opened in 1916 by Nathan Handworker, who had immigrated to the United States with his family just four years prior, selling hot dogs for a nickel apiece here at Surfing Stillwell. No, it was not his temple. 35 already. Come on, right Starney. Right now, the 70 dog pace. Zaccotti's starting to make up some time here. Yep. Jeffrey Esper. Starney, Starney, Starney. He's out, he's out to be at the 48 or 50. That was the hat. So it's that five minute well. mark. A little bit behind right now. Could be because of the heat out here, guys. Yeah, we've talked about it. A couple of years ago when he lost to Matt Stoney, similar conditions. Obviously, the humidity is uh, all of the now. heaters Damn. that are competing. Chestnut's still well ahead of the field, though. Yeah, look at that margin. And you, and you look at some of the eaters. You look at uh, Darren Breeden. Come on, you know, Stoney. Like you're in second place. Exactly what Joey does. Two dogs, two buns. Dunk, eat. Two dogs, two buns, dunk, eat. But I could grow You're my hair. that far. It doesn't mean I'm going to hit the high notes on Dream On. And I want to ask you while we have a moment. Before you got we 10. What happened to Liv Tyler? I 12 now. I thought she was a. Come on, Starney. I'm watching too much Netflix. Aww. I've got a couple recommendations for you. We'll talk about that in four minutes and ten seconds. Come on, slow down. Come on, Starney. Esper, Stoney, Braden, Zicotti, a little bit of a slow start today. Chestnut trying to get that pace back up to about seven and a half. Inside of four to go. We're about a half or three quarters of a dog off on DPM as opposed to last year, but Joey still he can't, can maintain a pace that these other eaters just can't. Stoney came out so fast. Three minutes and 40 seconds now. Come on, Stoney. Just check Joey market. told us that he had salmon for dinner Sunday night. And nothing but liquids and a protein shake on Monday. Fasted on Tuesday. Came in about 215 pounds at contest time. A lot of those folks who are unfamiliar Come with this on, think that everybody's going to be a 400 Come pounder. Come on, now the you're in fourth place. He said now you're in second place. He's breathing as he gets to about Come this on. point. He starts to near the wall around the three-minute mark. It's amazing his form. You know, we talked about Walter Hagen in golf, Bill Russell in basketball. You know, both had 11 titles. I'd like to mention uh, Messier, Mark Messier, the Rangers. That's because he wore 11, and uh, Messier was the man. I mean, he guaranteed victory. I don't think Joey Chestnut went as far as to guarantee victory, but I think the confidence level has been very apparent these last few days. Edward Stein needs a time like this, though. No. 16-dog margin. No, 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 no. 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 thousand martyrs if he can take on the belt yet again. Wearing a Jaws t-shirt, pushing the big man, Joey Chestnut, the number one ranked Again. The question is, will we have potentially up to six eaters reach 50 this year? We were expecting to see perhaps the highest average, but the pace pretty slow right now with the conditions. Chestnut proving once again why he's the tyrant lizard king perched atop the food chain. He's just unbelievable. Go on. Again, it can be a race for second, third, fourth, and fifth. Higher prize money for those finishers. The Absolutely. Finisher at the top. And pride as well. I mean, Sincati doesn't want to go third or fourth. You know, but, but Joey just coming off with the gloves on. It's so much for the aw shuck smile. Joey has tossed aside civility and chivalry. This is war for Joey on the corner. Now it's just time. He's having trouble. Of hot dog eating, marching to the sea. He's having trouble. And Nathan's famous. Appropriate on this federal holiday on the 4th of July. It begins on, with the massive Starney. muscle in the jaw, pound for pound, uh, one of the strongest muscles in the human body, putting down 280 pounds of force with, on those hot dogs. What Joey has done for digestion is what blockchain is doing for computing. There should be a coin. I'm going to pitch my globe. I don't need Ethereum. Give me Joey coin. Give me a crypto I can trust. Byzantine fault tolerance. Get Shelly Palmer on the phone. The chestnut, if you will. We're going to be exchanging those in a short amount of time. Approaching 60. 
and blowing away the rest of the field right now, Joey Chestnut. You know, we talk about fake news, what's real, what's fake. I got a couple things that are real. Here's the truth. We are witnessing greatness, athletic mastery. This is not a parlor trick. This is not sleight of hand. This is oh, Major man. League's best ever. Joey, the best ever to play the game. You want another truth? Radicchio is the sleeper line of this summer. Come on, <laughs> The esophagus of a champion. The stomach of a warlord, we've been told. 60 hot dogs, nobody even close right now. Sincati, Esper, and Green and all battling for second. Behind the greatest Shit, eater of all time, Joey Chestnut. Shit, no, a mere half minute away from no, number to 11. Chip, no. 18 dog margin for Joey Chestnut. This place will erupt. The countdown has begun. Once again, it's become old hand. It's become commonplace. Here in Coney Island, Nathan's famous owns July 4th, Joey Chestnut owns no. America. The legend already, the legend continues, number 11 for Joey Chestnut here at Nathan's. Unbelievable. Come on. I mean the margin. What the fuck? These guys were on his heels and he kicked them away. Oh my glory. An incredible 19 dog separation. 64 thrown down by the all time great, now an 11 time champion, Joey Chestnut on top again. On this day, we set aside our table.